I enjoy coming down to the farmers market. I try to get down every week. Uh, it's a nice community event. Uh, people not only come down to buy all the products, the produce here, and the honey, of course, uh, but they come down to uh, as a community event so that they can talk and see the, all of the, their friends and make new friends that, that come down to the market. Uh, we do get a variety of individuals from everywhere, uh, not just in the Morgantown. They'll, they'll come from Preston County, uh, Fayette County, the Fairmont area, Marion County. We get a lot of people that will drive, say, within 50 miles to come to the market here. It's one of the largest markets uh, in West Virginia and one of the best markets, of course. Every Saturday, um, 8.30 to 12, um, it's a really good market. We've got pavilions, so uh, shady. If it's if it's hot and sunny, you get it underneath the shade. If it's raining, uh, you stay out of the stay out of the wet. If it's doing both like it is today, you get the, both advantages. So it's really nice to have a place to be. Mostly right now we have our greens from the spring. So we got lettuce and kale, um, spinach. We're doing microgreens. Uh, in the greenhouse, actually, or baby, they're a little bit bigger than micro, but baby greens, um, cucumbers, and we've already sold out of strawberries and raspberries. Um, we're selling a variety of cakes and cookies with breads and hardtack candy, and normally we have pepperoni rolls and pies as well. And we also have peppers, tomatoes, flowers, and hanging baskets. It gets the people to know that you don't have to go to Walmart and spend like $50 on flowers when you can just go to your friend and get $25 worth of flowers that are the same, if not better. And it's also helping people know that you know you don't have to go out all the time and buy cakes and stuff when you can come here and get freshly grown stuff that's healthy and not preserved food and that's not good for you. We're selling honey. My daughter is the, she's the salesperson. I'm not a good salesperson. I just do the honey. <laughs> so, I'm the beekeeper. I do some beekeeping pretty much every day. If I'm not selling honey, I'm out in the apiaries early in the day to manage them and make sure that they are uh, still operating well. I, I've enjoyed beekeeping for about 25, 30 years. And we try to sell all the freshest honey. We take it off uh, the week that we bring it down uh, so that you can still smell this, the flowery uh, scent that you have in the honey that is usually lasts about six months, which you don't get in uh, store-bought honey. Most of the growers are, you know, we're all within a 50-mile radius, so all the money they spend ends up going back into the economy here. I like to see people come down and enjoy the produce. And, you know, it gives us as farmers an opportunity to uh, try to make a living and keep land in production and sustainable and take care of it. This is a really good market, you should come to it.